good news for the day. It is heavenly cloudy. Welcome to the third episode of our new series, IoT Straight to the Point. My name is Peter. I am the IoT nerd at Telehase. We already covered the topic of edge computing in episode two, where information is pre-processed very close to on the device itself. Today, we want to talk about processing at the other end, in the cloud, the so-called cloud computing. Many people associate cloud with a single platform, a server that is managed somewhere on the internet. But cloud can also mean several systems that jointly map processes or computing operations. Especially in the IoT area, several systems are often used at a different location. This can be, for example, the IoT platform for the management of the devices, analytics platform for the complex mathematics, a SIM management platform and also a billing system for the underlying service. For the application, it doesn't really matter where in the cloud the information is processed. So what is the advantage or even a must for processing information in the cloud? I would like to give you three answers to that. First, performance. Some of IoT products are based on complex algorithms and on a large number of parameters, so that the calculation of the usual less powerful computing unit on the device is not possible. Second, dependencies on other web services. Some applications require other web services for processing. Alexa is a good example for this. The recorded audio information is transmitted to the internet and processed there with a variety of parameters like habits, language characteristics of the person, and so on. The result is transmitted back to the device. Third, dependencies on other IoT products. In some IoT applications, individual IoT devices depend on information from other IoT devices. Like for example, a weather station, connected to the internet that remotely activates another IoT device, like a machine. Looking at the reasons for edge and cloud computing from the last two episodes, it quickly becomes clear that most applications are probably a mixture of both concepts. However, how the computing tasks are distributed is not that simple. Because of that, I would like to tell you in the next episode a bit more about this mixture. Based on the world of bionics, I want to show you how our body perfectly masters this distribution. Stay curious and see you soon.